Our team coverage extends now to the Outer Banks. That's where people are expected to see the worst of the system, a tropical storm. Andy Fox joins us now from Buxton. Andy, how's it looking there this morning? Well, actually, we're at the Frisco Woods Campground, and I am standing in the Pamlico Sound. So when we are talking about sound side flooding, this is what we're talking about, that this comes up two to four feet. That's what they're expecting it could do. We don't know for sure. But when you're out here, you kind of wonder, is there really a system off the coast? I mean, look at it. No wind, completely still. Once again, rain. It's been raining since 11 o'clock yesterday. All morning, we've been showing you on Wavy TV 10 all the flooding in the streets, Hatteras, Frisco, Buxton. This man right here is the luckiest man in the Frisco Woods campground. You know why? Because that's his travel trailer. He's got the nicest spot here. Rich from York, Pennsylvania. How you doing? Are you worried? No. What are you looking at? What would make you leave? If they tell us the major hurricane's coming up, we gotta go, then we're out of here. That's the only way that you would go. You you aren't fearing anything about what you're hearing. Is, is there anything that concerns you about what you're hearing about it? Well, if it comes over the rocks over there, then we might move. How about the weather? What has the weather been like the last 24 hours for you? It's been rain all night. It started yesterday evening, afternoon. We were out running around, it was raining, and that's about it. But no big wind. Didn't feel any wind, huh? Did you? It was a little windy yesterday. Yeah. It was actually more windy Monday and Sunday than we, it was now. We have a system off the coast. Yeah. Are you surprised when you look around and you say, what's, what's all the excitement about? Well, I've been watching it on the phone and the weather apps, so I am keeping an eye on it. But you'd only leave if it really deteriorates, which this will not be that type of storm. Yeah, if it gets real bad, we're out of here. Okay, but you're here, in, you're here until Saturday? Yeah. Good. Rich, thank you very much. He's got a good cup of coffee, too. I still haven't had one this uh, morning. <laughs> thank you very much, Rich. But, uh, guys, that's really, I mean, this is a Frisco Woods campground, and just beautiful, the whole thing, just really nice. Again, looking for the south side flooding, continuing to have rain. Uh, schools are closed in Dare County. Traffic, uh, trash is being collected, but they continue to keep this weather eye because they're very concerned about winds turning around and causing the sound side flooding from the Pemlico Sound. But as you can see, it's really beautiful here this morning. That's the latest from Frisco. I'm Andy Fox. Guys, back to you. We continue tracking the tropics this morning as the tropical system hits our area. If you were with us yesterday, we showed you red flags up at the ocean front, plus strong rip currents and high waves in the water. Today, conditions are expected to be worse. Rico Bush is getting a good look at how the system is affecting Hampton Roads. Our team coverage continues now at the ocean front. Rico, what are you seeing now? Well, Lex, the rain has really started to come down hard here at the ocean front. We are just off 16th Street in Atlantic Avenue. The winds are still pretty strong. They have been strong here on the boardwalk all morning. Now, things have been fairly quiet here. We really haven't seen anyone walking on the boardwalk with the exception of only about two people walking this morning here. I want to show you behind me the waves, though. You can see they are pretty choppy and they are really uh, moving there. Uh, we have been out here all morning. As we've been mentioning, the winds have been pretty strong. We have been seeing uh, debris kind of going across the street here in Virginia Beach. One thing to be careful about this morning if you are heading out is to really tie down those things in your neighborhood and your neighbor, uh, your yards, and that's because you don't want things flying around because of these strong winds. You can see actually the rain moving diagonally here, and that's because the wind is pushing it here to my right. Um, but things, as I mentioned, as far as the roads go, uh, they are pretty good. Uh, we haven't really seen any impassable roads, so uh, they should be okay for you to get on. Just make sure you are taking your time and being extra careful when driving out on the roads this morning. We'll continue to stay out here and track these uh, conditions, and we'll have another update for you in just 30 minutes. Lex, back to you. Portsmouth is giving you a dry place to park today. The Middle Street and County Street parking garages are open to anyone who wants to move their car. You just need to do so. Move it out by Wednesday morning. Remember, you can keep up with all of today's weather alerts with the Wavy Weather app. It's free to download for your smartphone and tablet.